What's up everyone, this is Scratch. I have a quick video here for you today. We're going to take a look at a new setting that is available to pretty much everybody probably at this point. It is technically still in preview, but it's going to roll out to the general audience quite soon because I'm a little bit late in making this. But you have two new options now available for your quality of service settings on your network. So it's called QoS tagging. And these are the settings that enable you to basically tag the traffic that leaves your Xbox onto your network as a priority. So things like voice traffic or multiplayer gaming or something that is sensitive to network uh, latency or impacts of high traffic times or congestion, as they say, or whatever. You can tag it and it'll help, it could help combat against that. So I'm gonna show you where this is. Uh, for those of you who wanna know just how to set it and what the scope of your control is over this, um, I will show you here now. Uh, we're gonna go to advanced settings. Feel free to comment about me showing my IP address. Anyway, QoS tagging settings. Now, there are two, DSCP tagging enabled or WMM tagging enabled. Now I have both of them enabled. However, I am on a wired connection. So WMM I do not really need, but for the purpose of this video, I just had them both tagged. So uh, DSCP tagging is differentiated services code point tagging. Now, I come from a telephone background, and so I keep wanting to say point code, so I messed that up. But anyways, differentiated services code point. Um, and basically what that does is it, again, it tags the traffic and says to your network, hey, this is stuff is a priority, treat it respectfully or prioritize it um, for me. And it can improve uh, the quality of your connection um, that much more with things like multimedia or, uh, you know, voice multiplayer connections, things like that. WMM, essentially the same thing, only it's Wi-Fi multimedia. So again, if you have it plugged in, you're a member of Team Ethernet like myself, you do not need this enabled. So I'm just gonna shut mine off right now because it was in there from another, uh, one of the previous 500 takes I think I've done at this point probably. But so I'm gonna turn mine off and then we're gonna click on apply here and it's gonna say that I need to restart my console. So these are two options that are definitely good to have. I do wanna point out or just kind of throw a disclaimer out there is that this isn't going to be an answer to all of your network problems. It's just simply a new tool that's available to you to see if you do have a network issue, if sometimes the ability to add this can improve the quality of your connection. If you have a bad setup or it's an improper setup or you have, you know, old equipment or you whatever, you have it hooked up wrong or, or there, there's, there's a multitude of reasons um, this may actually hinder your connection. So if you turn it on and it doesn't work, it doesn't mean that it doesn't work. It just means it doesn't work with your setup. So there are plenty or there are a multitude of different combinations that you can have. And so um, I would encourage you to just come in here, turn these on and see if, if you are having trouble. Um, turn these on and see if it improves it or see if it doesn't. And if it doesn't, then you, know, you can turn it off or whatever. But that's basically in a nutshell. I'll leave some links down below if you want to research these. For those of you in the comments uh, who take the time to leave a comment, thank you very much. And definitely want to thank ahead of time because I know there's a few of you out there who will be helping people who will come in here and make comments about their own network problems. And I know there's a few people who kind of jump in and help. And I definitely appreciate that. That's super cool. Um, of you to do that to, to help these people because you know it's a community we all try to kind of work together and figure out you know how we can best connect to the online services that we enjoy and play with each other on xbox so thank you all for watching definitely appreciate the support i will see you down in the comments below and if you have any questions leave them there otherwise i'll catch you in the next video thanks for watching